Yes. Okay, well, usually when you go into the game, what are you thinking about when you when you go up into the game? In low this Uh I was looking at my win con this game, like who can carry me this game. Okay. So I was just looking at Jax could carry me and then Oriana can just farm, kind of. True. So Oriana is just, just a mage, she can just farm. So let's identify the matchup first. So Jax versus the tank, who wins this? Um I think Jax wins. Jax oh. wins, he just wants to scale. The Mundo is just a tank, so he's going to be a tank no matter yeah. if he's going to be zero two, zero three. He's just a tank. Who has priority? Who has the push? Jax. Jax has the push, yes, exactly. So Jax has the push because of it, because of his E pretty much. Okay, what about yeah. mid lane matchup? I think uh Who wins? I don't I think Katarina wins. So this is a skill matchup. The better player yeah. is going to win. This Oriana has a little bit of an advantage, but usually it's just 50-50. The thing is, yeah. who has priority? Because the priority is not 50-50. Someone has better push potential. I think Oriana can push better. True, true. So we have priority mid, have priority top. What about 2v2? Jax with Zin Zawa against Seth with Mundo. Who wins? Uh, we hard one. Yes, you guys win because you guys have like this guy has a stun. You have the knock up. Zinza is extremely strong at two v two, so you win two v two top lane as well. Hey guys, for those who don't know, my name is Bizais and I'm a challenger League of Legends coach. I have over two thousands of hours on individual coaching, and I have plenty of students that climb from bronze or silver all the way up to diamond. Remember that the content that you are watching right now is a personalized, high-quality coaching session that you can only get from me. If you want to get better and climb League of Legends, feel free to add me on Discord and book your own private coaching session. What are you waiting for? The link is in the description. Mid lane to be too. Um, not sure to be honest, but I think we still can win. Yes, it's 50-50. If Seth hits the E on Oriana, if they burst Oriana, if they catch Oriana, or if they catch you and they both focus the same target, they win. If you play it good with your knockup, if you start a fight, if Oriana is on the same page and he, he, she is you, you win. So it's a 50-50 matchup in the of 2 mid lane. What do we yeah. think about this bot lane? Varus, Sona, against Ezra Zera. Um, I think their bot lane will poke a lot more. True. Which means they might have priority, probably. True. So do you say you're saying their bot lane, right? Yeah. Yes. So their bot lane has more push potential, especially because it's Sona, and usually Sona doesn't really have too much agency inside of the lane base. She wants to play safe. She wants to play slow. She so she's pretty useless in the early game. You don't you can't really expect yeah. anything from her. She doesn't have a setup. So do you ever want to gank bot lane? Mm, not really. Not Unless really. Unless free kills. Unless free kills, you don't want to gank bot lane. It is a Zerat. It's an Ezreal. It's very hard to gain both. And if they are pushing or they are playing like really aggressive, we can. Otherwise, we don't gank. So, okay, who do we need to gank then? Who is the first big win condition? Jax. True. Jax. Okay, right now the question is, is it worth to get Oriana ahead right here? Uh, not really. So, usually getting Oriana ahead is not really that that's necessary. But what if you're considering that you're getting Katarina behind by getting Oriana ahead? Oh, uh, yeah. Exactly. So oh, that's simple. worth it. Exactly. Yeah. So, second win condition is mid lane. But again, not because you want to play and you particularly want to fed Oriana, is that you want to make sure Katarina doesn't carry. Because if she's 0 1, she can't play the game. This is a snowball champ. Same as Talon, Fizz, Yasuo. They want to win. So, you need to do. Yep. What, what camps do you want to do? Like, in what orders would you like to do your camps? First of all, do you do uh, bot to top or top to bot? I start bot side. True. And what, what combination do we have? So what options do we have in terms of uh, clearing? Uh, we can do like blue grump to red to gank. True. And what's the advantage of this clear? Um, We can cover for Jax and also look for a gank at the same time. True, true. So that's uh, since our purpose, he wants to just gank early. And what other combination of ganks you have or combination of patterns? Or we can just, I don't know, full clear. Full clear, yes. Or is that, is, is that, so what's the advantage behind that? Uh, we can 
get more farm and XP. True, we can get more farm and XP. And for this situation, and in the majority of the cases, what is in synergy? Ganking or farming? Ganking. Exactly. So the answer is, should we go for the answer of the question, hey, what pathing should we go? Most of the cases, you just go to buff, to gromp, to buff. So you do blue, yeah. gromp, buff, gank. Okay. Yeah. Do you usually put the word at level one? In the jungle? Um, I sometimes put it on the opposite side of river now. True. And for this situation, did you did you forget about I it? Or? Yeah, I forgot. I forgot the word. Okay, so okay, okay. No problem. I had just stood there, so I don't no know problem. what to do. The runes are very, very good. I re recommend you to go for those runes in every situation. On Xin Zhao, especially against Set, it's really important to get the last stand because you're playing against this champ and this champ, and it's probably going to be low. So a last stand is pretty good. Right here, is there a thought for like a specific thought process why you go for magic resist? Oh, just because um, I thought they had Katarina and like Zeraf that's gonna poke me and stuff. True. I think but Mando also have some AP. So usually when you're getting this armor or magic resist, you're thinking particularly about the enemy jungle. Okay. Exactly. So armor is a lot more rewarding. And in addition of that, Ezreal does some AD damage as well. And Katarina does some AD damage as well. Yep. So it's not that bad to get armor. So usually you're thinking about the enemy jungle. Okay. Only if it's a tank you should th think about. Like if this is Sejuani, you're like, hey, I don't, I'm not going to lose against Sejuani. So I just go magic resist because of the team composition. But in this case, Set is not a very weak jungle. Yeah. Okay, so let's see what you're going to do here. Okay, good, 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 good. Fine, fine. Okay, what is the first information that we can acknowledge from the minimap? Um, jungle started. True. Red. Where is he? Red buff. True. What does he want to do? Does he want to do full clear? Does he want to do buff to buff to grow? What do you think? I think set. Probably wants to full clear. True, true. So Seth wants to full Cause... clear. Exactly. Yeah. So he wants to full clear, he just wants to farm. What about what about 1v1 against him? Uh, if I play good, I can probably beat him. True, yeah. true. So it's just skill. He has his W, so it's not that easy. So in those kind of situations, I do recommend you to track the enemy jungle. Ping. Danger, danger. Like guys, he started there. Careful. Because that means okay. he's going to pet top lane, so bot lane doesn't really need to be afraid to play aggressive. But if you don't ping, well, they're not really going to know that. Okay, that's fine. Good, good, good kiting. Okay, I do recommend you to kite this towards here. So you should hit it, move back, hit it, move back, hit it, move back like this. And you stay here and finish it and then go for the wolves. Okay. Because right now you're very, very inefficient when you're, when you're taking this. I like that it didn't really smite. Okay, so obviously, uh, right now we need to look mid lane and look top lane. Okay, what do you think based on those game states? They're both like pushing. Okay. Is there an urgency to be mid lane? No. Not really. Not really. Maybe for counter gank in the next 20 seconds, but not, not really right now. What about top lane? Yeah. What does this game state tell you? Mm, that. Jax is playing super aggressive and we should probably cover him. True, true. So not only should you should cover him, but what about the Mundo? Is there any we way you can probably... get a kill? Mm -hmm. We can probably dive him maybe. True, you can dive him. So if a challenger player is looking here, he's like, hey, this guy is low, wave is slow pushing into him. What if I do my red buff, I smite it, I get it really fast and I instantly run top lane from behind, dive him and then go for the scuttle. So that's oh. basically the thought process of high elo player. So let's see if you're going to do this. So obviously you would have to smite. Yes, and then look top lane. Okay. Okay, right now it's not diveable anymore, but you still need to pressure there. So you do this, good. You go for scuttle. You're ping on my way. I like this. You have prio on top lane, prio on mid lane. Remember that when you're here, look for prio. Look if you have prio. If you don't have prior, yeah. you need to have the rule league of legends is that you can go for scuttle if you have one lane of prior. So either top lane or bot lane or mid lane. In this case, you're very lucky. Yeah. You have mid lane prior, top lane prior. As we discussed it in the in the laning phase, this is expect this is by the book. Like we have prior mid, we have prior top. Okay, the thing that I want to show you here, we saw set for about two seconds. He has 16 farm. Question: How many camps did he do? Four camps. Four camps. Okay, perfect. So right now. 
if you see that he has red and blue, let's see. Okay. So he has red and blue. So what other camp did he take? I think he took the red, the raptors, the wolves, and the blue buff. True. And what other combination can he do this? He can also do the the red, the wolves, uh, the blue buff, and the grump. Exactly. So either either the or either his grump or his raptors are up here. That's what you need to know. Okay, this is beautiful, beautiful, fine. You go for double scuttle. This is beautiful. Want to look bot lane? Okay, is your bot lane having priority? No, they just Not died. Really. They just died. But can the enemy bot lane do anything about it? About the scuttle? No. Okay, Israel can't because he's like super low. Yes. And Zerat is relatively low as well. Remember, you're Zin Zhao. He's not going to have like boss to go to go on you right there, right now. Yeah. Okay. So here you go for the scuttle. Good. Okay. Beautiful play. Forgot about the potion. You used it very, very, very early. I want to see how you play this mechanically. Really want to see how you play this mechanically. That's fine. Okay. Did he have Q? Let's see. Okay. Very, very. Okay. Okay. I want to dodge a W, I think, but I still kind of dashed into it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Cause I, but I thought Oriana was coming, so I think I went anyway. Yeah, you didn't play it bad. You played it good. You forgot about the potion. You played it good with your spells. That was fine. Okay. So how much gold do you have? Nine hundred and forty-one gold. Okay. So we're getting the camps here. I did this, and I recalled. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's see. Yes. Beautiful. Super. Super. Super good. Okay. Right now, what do you buy? Oh no, I think I bought the wrong thing. Cause oh, you got the face. I bought that and then I went to my Crocs and then I was like, oh my god, I bought the wrong item. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Like right now, Phage, well yeah, you have HP, but not having the the whip is pretty bad. Yeah, that was terrible. That's yeah, wow, wow, wow. Okay, so let's see, so you do this. Okay, so right now, let's actually look back. So, usually when you... You play jungle. Right now, in base, you want to think about, hey, who do you want to gank? First of all, you had top lane and mid lane as win conditions. Are they still win condition, or do we need to adapt the win conditions? Uh, they're still win con. They're still win con. If they were 0 3, yeah. 0 2, then you don't need to care about them anymore. The thing is, you're yeah. lucky they are ahead. What about bot lane? What does this tell you? They're behind. Yes. That tells you you never gank there, you never pet there. And what you want to do is that you want to completely give up bot side to get top side of the map. Get his jungle because we're winning this, knowing that we have priority on top lane. So we want to we want to take top lane hard, like Herald, Camps. And if, if this guy wants to make the, the Ezreal 10-0, he can make it. We're going to have our 10-0 Jax. So that's the trade yeah. we want to do. Based on this dab and best based on the scoreboard. Okay, so right now they are ganking. This is huge wave, he TPs. You go there. Okay, I wanna see how you how you get the camp here. Okay, so they're fighting. The set is there. You're leaving, you're going. Beautiful. Okay, fine. Okay, good. What does set wants to do here? Set wants to. Go bot side. <laughs> True. So he he wants to only gain bot side. Do you need to counter gain there? No, because we probably no. just lose. True. You hard lose. So you just want to play top lane. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Just want to take your camps and play slow. Oh, be careful. Okay, that was fine. So if you go here and then you summon the scuttle and then you run away and you don't fire at all, that's decent. That But you would rather just okay. give it up and play top lane. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. This is good. Is top diveable? Yes, we need to go top lane really fast. Oh, ooh, we missed a kill here. Yeah, did you go top lane? Oh. Okay, you, I think you got, yeah, like here, it was a free kill. I'm and then pretty after sure you... I might have killed him later, but I don't know. Oh, really? Oh, did I kill him? I don't remember. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't yeah, kill. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So in this situation, when you're playing, like, especially because Jax is being conned and he died, you want to look there. Because it really matters if he's full HP or low HP. Because 
sometimes when you're playing League of Legends and you play jungle, if your laner dies and you see that enemy top laner is full HP, then you know that your top laner is not that good. So you want to adapt the win condition. So the rule is after a teammate dies, look there. See how big the discrepancy was. See how big the difference was between the players. So here we should pet top, take this, take the wave, push the wave, get the herald and then go into his jungle. Because right now yeah. you probably go mid lane and then you go for for the crux, but that's a very little reward. Okay, so you have a huge amount of gold. Do you know how much gold you need for gold drinker right now? In total? I don't need around two like two point three, two point four K. Probably around that. Yes, yes. So I don't it's, it's too much. It's uh, two point three. It's two two oh, yeah. fifty, I think. Okay. Oh, yeah, we lost a super hard, I think. I didn't even kill Sid. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about this. Okay, so usually, what is going to make the difference between you winning a team fight or not winning a team fight? Usually. If you have, like, AoE. Okay, if CC. you have AoE, what else? What, else? what about number? Number advantage. Oh, yeah, number advantage and stuff. Exactly, exactly. So, right here, what's the problem with this play? Is Jack strong? He's not that strong, but we don't know where Mando is. True. We don't know where his Mando is. And what about the Euro mid laner? Uh, he's coming back from base. Exactly. So what should you do in this situation? How do you uh, communicate that this is not good? Uh, spam him. <laughs> ping him. Not like spam like 10 times or like 4 <laughs> times. But you want to ping danger, danger. Like bro, don't go. Uh, you want to go here and be like the bodyguard of the, the Jex. Just act like you want to do something and zone Katarina off because she's going to back off like this. But you don't want to commit here because if, if you commit, Mundo is going to come here. So here, you should just give to the Jex the opening to Q on you, wait Oriana to come in, and then force a fight. Yeah. That's basically the best case scenario in like high elo challenge right now. And you also forgot about ulti. You ulted like super, super, super late here in this situation. Yeah. But yeah, the point is don't fight without without the vision like this. Yeah, so definitely here it was a big thing. At least you get the whip and you're pretty strong right now. Let's see what you're going to do. Okay, good. So let's talk about this. Win conditions. Med top. Mid top, still the still. same thing. So, what is the yeah. betting that we need to take here? I probably needed to go like grub first to wolves. True, exactly. So, you should do But Why is that? Because we want to play top side of the map. True. And is there an urgency to go top lane right now in like 20 seconds? Mm. Is Jax there already? No. No, he's here. So, if you do chrome. If you do Raptors and then you instantly go top lane, it's going to be so much better because right now you do Raptors, but he's not even on the lane phase. So how, where are you going to path to? Because if you go bot lane, well, first of all, they are dead. Second of all, they are not in condition. Third of all, they are really behind. And then if you yeah. path like this, you're going to go bot lane. So this is definitely a huge thing because this guy is playing pretty aggressive. Like this guy is eating a bit. We should completely give up the, the drink. And play top lane, because if you if you remember if you just feed this 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 guy with Jax and he's like five three or six three, who can stop him? Because they don't have CC, they have Zerat Eve. That's not even a CC. Like maybe it's going to hit it, but it's so hard. They have Set E, but they don't really have something reliable. Malza or Ulti or Liwona or Nautilus. If Jax is going to split push, no one can handle him. Is if Jax is going to fight, no one can handle him. So if you just Play top lane only, and you you basically tell yourself, hey, set, you can have bot lane, you can have this AD carry like 5 0, 10 0, how, however you want. I'm going to have my jacks. Yeah. So that's what you should have done here. You should completely give up bot lane and only gain on top lane. Okay, so here you just kill him. I want to see how you play this mechanically first. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. Good. So let's see. So after you kill him, like what do you want to do? What does Jax wants to do? Uh, push the wave. 
true. So what options do you have? You can go for the Crux. So how much gold do you have first? You can go for the Crux and then you can go Recall. Or you can go for Plates and then you can go Recall. Are the uh, Crux plates. like really... Exactly. Because cards, Crux are not that big reward, right? Like they don't really consist in a big yeah. reward. So theoretically you can get free gold here. Because Jax is probably going to get one or two. Probably just one. Because this guy is going to DP. Yes, exactly. So imagine if you are here pushing with him. You could have get one more play. Okay. 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 You should be okay here. That was fine. You really need to recall soon. Let's see if you're going to do it. Okay, so so far, what were, were the mistakes here in this game? Um, uh, fighting without vision. True. Okay. Uh, fighting. Pathing wrong side. Exactly. What else? Um, not pushing way for top laner. Exactly. Okay, fighting with number disadvantage. Um, we need, I have a problem at tracking enemy jungle. We need to communicate more often. Okay, what else, what else, what else? Itemization was a thing. Because you didn't really buy the whip first. Oh and... yeah, I messed up on that one though. Yes, 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 yes. yes. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so what is your thought process about those picks? Because I saw like Zeraf is like fed, as well Katarina was super fed, so probably like want to go Merktrids. Okay, true. For Emma. But that's they don't good. have a lot of CC, so I don't know why. But Exactly, exactly. So usually it's because of the CC, you're buying this course CC. But in this case, they have pretty much all AD comp, all AP comp. So this is not bad that you bought those. This is not bad. Okay, so I want to see how you play it right now. Nice. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. This is super good. This is super good. Nice. Carrots. Okay, let's see if you can play it better here. From the beginning. Here. Okay, I want to see the Q as well. Because you did not have Q here. Okay. So you're going to the team fight. Okay, sweeper. This guy goes on you. E, Q. Okay. You forgot about the smite in the beginning. The ulti was good. You get a kill on him. The W was missed here. So if you just hit this W on the Mundo and the smite, because as you can see, didn't reuse the smite and didn't reuse the potion. Plus, you still have Gord Drinker. So the faster you use the first Gord Drinker, the faster the second Gord Drinker is going to come. Yeah. And this can make the difference, because right now Mundo is going to die, and you get Triumph. And then you can kill Katarina, yeah. because right now, you do, you had, like right here you had the third Q. What does that mean? That means you will, yeah. will just knock her up, and then that's going to basically deny her ulti. Just interrupt her ulti. And then you can win this. So this is huge. The yeah. W missing was huge, the potion not used correctly was used, huge, and then the smite not used very early was, was a big thing. And then a Gore Drinker. We still have problem, but... I don't think... Do you have a lot of games on, on Zen Zhao? Uh, I, I have... Not like a lot, but I have like... This season I only have 32 games. Okay. Which is do quite you, a bit. Do you know how many how many mastery points you have on him in total? Uh, have a look right now. Uh... I have 34k. 34k, okay. Mm, that's not yeah. that much, okay, okay. That's not too much. Okay, 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 okay. Beautiful, so let's see. Okay, how do you want to play the game right now? How do you win this game? Try to... I don't know, Jack split push. True. So, do you want to stay with your team and make sure you protect them, or do you want to just hover 
the side of the checks and only be his like his bodyguard or his protector from behind. You just wanna shadow. probably wanna protect Jax, you know. Yes, yes. So you just wanna you wanna protect Jax and you wanna split push. If Jax doesn't split push, that's a bad thing. But if he does, then you just wanna play with him. Because the thing is, any any fight, any fight, you're going to lose it if you if you fight with Sona, with Varus. Like this guy doesn't even have one item. Wow, it's huge actually. Super behind. Bro. Yeah, super super behind. Uh, I just made. I think I. I okay. Oh, nice. Okay, and he gets raid. Or. Sound off. Okay, he actually played it super good. Nice, 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 nice. Super, super, super nice play. Really good mechanically played as well. Nice, wow, wow. He actually played it super good mechanically. Okay. Okay. You, you can actually be a monster with Sona in the later stages, actually. With yeah, Sona was like spamming. Like, if, I, if she got one, like, Woodstone, like, we would always win the fights. <laughs> Okay, you have a huge amount of gold, so I think you're going to lose this fight. Let's see. Uh, okay. It's only one shot. Yes, yeah, we lost. Yes, yes. Okay, so let's see. So you got a bit too hyped. I like the aggressivity. You improved the aggressivity by a lot. You're actually playing a lot more aggressive. This is fine play because your red buff is spawning. But remember that when you're going to fight with an advantage, but you have a huge amount of gold, well, you don't actually have an advantage. So... In yeah. this situation, it was so much better. It will be so much better to ping danger, 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 and back off because right now, still Sona is so weak. Even Varus mm -hmm. right now is so weak. Oriana is bot lane and she's decent. And then Jax, well, yeah. Jax can't really pent penta kill here, really. So best case scenario, you just back off here. Just back off, because I think that you are the one that uh, engages, right? Like yeah, well, you're the one that follows basically. So if you ping danger, danger, Jax doesn't go, and this is going to be different. Because yeah. right now, I think that they will get a big objective. Will they? Or not? Okay, they don't really get it. Okay. Yeah, well, again, the only way you win this game is through Jax, so you want to tell him um, you can split push Jax. So you can go split push Jax. Like, something like that. Because yeah. if he stays mid, Game is uh, really really hard because you don't really have any win condition anymore. Okay. Oh my god! I I, yeah, okay, okay. I misclicked stopwatch. It was super weird because I misclicked it. Okay. No I think I was. Bro. I don't know what I was doing to be honest, but you know that was super funny. Yeah, it happens. It happens. I. So this game is actually so long. And it looks more one-sided oh, yeah. than it is. A really nice try what I did there. Really nice try. So the thing is, yes, it was kind of desperation play, but you have to go. You have to do something. You just have to. You simply have to go on the Israel because otherwise you're just going to end up losing the game. Yeah, yeah, pretty good. You forgot about the smite, but it was uh, decent. Remember that the smite is also going to reduce the damage, right? From Israel. Oh yeah. Exactly. So this is going to be because if you reduce the damage, maybe you have a chance to just double him after you smite him. Because you see how close yeah. it was. Yeah, definitely yeah. smite usage is something that we need to work on. Because even on, well, on Olaf, you can also go for blue might, smite. Even on, on Zin Zhao, blue smite is not bad, by the way. In matchups where they don't really have tanks. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. You're very, very strong. You're still like one level up on the on the set. So is there any reason why you got the bumble vest? Oh, actually, I don't know. Oh, because my teammates were spamming that, like, they have a lot of healing, which I don't think they do, to be honest, except for Bando and yeah, Seiko Bando Drinker. Has some. Exactly, but the thing yeah. is, you do you want to be a tank in this game? Uh, Kind of, not really, because, I yeah, mean, so Jack's not that tanky. True. So, the thing is, Bramble Vest, like, how, how does Bramble Vest work? Like, what do they need to do in order to properly... They need to help me. Yes. And do you think Mundo is going to hit you in team fights? With, no. With auto attacks, remember, because it's specifically with auto attacks. 
Oh, yeah. Exactly. So it is not going to happen. Katarina, that's yeah. going to happen. Zerat's I think like... I bought the normal vest and then I swapped it because I they're spamming ping me. Mm. Yeah. Well, in this case, you should go executioners, normal executioners, so you can actually profit yourself on the Mundo and yeah. then Guardian Angel. Because if you get Guardian Angel, you have the stopwatch already, it's Gucci. You're going to be tanky, yeah. you're going to be frontline, you're going to have the passive and get the Grievous Wings. So that would be pretty bogus with GA. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because Mundo is never going to actually hit you in a team fight. I love how yeah. those Oceania games are actually that slow. Everyone is farming. In NA or in EU, it's a lot different. Well, in this case, yeah. we actually did the did the mistake. So, if the Nashor is up, we can't really just split with bottom right now. Yeah. Because the only way they close out the game is whether they get three heaps or they get three heaps and the Nashor. So in this case, you should yeah. just get two pink cords. You should sell your your broken stopwatch. It is what it is. Get two pink cords and then slowly, slowly but surely approach it this angle. The thing about the the red side is that it's so easy to play from behind because you can go like this to put the vision on the Nashor. You can go like this to put the vision on the Nashor. You can go like this to put the vision on the Nashor. You can go like this to put the vision. Like you have so many ways to approach the pit that it's so easy to play from behind from red side. Or let's say it's easier than on the blue side. Yeah. So that's the reason why you should have been here. Because right now they will get Nashor probably and game is just GG. Okay, they're actually getting it so late. So late. I yeah, they haven't gotten it yet. <laughs> yeah, it's it's so insane. It's so insane. I don't know why they don't, don't do it. I think they're trying to end the game without how oh, they got it now. <laughs> yeah, but it was so late. So late. Way, way, way too late. Way too late. I think we'll try, we were having a comeback. But then we kind of trolled. And then they ended, I think, this game. So it's definitely macro rotations. This is a big one. Because if you don't stay for Nasher, like you, if you're not there, it's going to be hard to win. Okay. I was fighting Katarina, so she doesn't go on my team. To be that was like what I was thinking, to be honest. That wasn't bad, but the mechanic execution could have been better. So in this case, well, let's talk about itemization first. So is Storm really going to be helping you a lot here? Not, no. <laughs> not at all, right? Like, Ezreal doesn't do yeah. that with auto attacks. And then Seth is not going to hit you. Plus, Katarina and Zerat yeah. are the problems. Thorme is so troll. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. It's very, very troll. Yeah, well, that was so lucky. Yeah, so definitely, this game could have been a little bit more winnable. So right now, what is the priority? She's ulting you. What is the priority? Q, uh, W, E, R. What's the priority? Uh, knock her up. True, but Q. True. Exactly. But here, boom, you double oh. first. Exactly. Actually, yeah. Because that Ironborn, you see how close it is? It wouldn't really be. It would be even closer than this. But this is going to really matter. Because if she gets a little bit of damage off, like right now, Katarina is going to. Oh. She was dead here and Boris was alive. You see how huge this yeah. display was? So that little thing. Yeah. That little thing. Because this game is going to show you, hey, are you a platinum player already? Or do we need to still work on, on, on it? Those kind of games will show you that. But yeah. of course, you can't, I don't think you, you can say that you, your Zin Zhao is in your top two champs, right? Uh, no. What is it? Um, I think Olaf's my best champ, and then... I don't know, like, I've played too many champions, so I don't even know what's my second best champ. Okay, so then you have, like, Olaf really good, and then the others are just, like, decent. Yeah, it's just, like, decent. okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how yeah. I consider it as well. Okay. I also saw an Olaf video where, like, like, a pro like they tank two tower shots before they clear the jungle camps. Okay, so they can like get more healing. Like, yes, but... Yeah, they just get more attack speed and stuff. Yeah, well, but that's very punishable because if in the enemy team there is a Xin Zhao or if in the enemy team there is a Thresh that is invading you or someone that is catching you here when you're taking the tower shots, you know, that could be yeah. a problem. <laughs> yeah. But that's a smart thing to do. That's a good thing to consider. I think it's very, very situational though. Good. 
Okay. Interesting chase. Okay. So you guys actually come back. Yeah, Hello. we almost. We almost. But then they pushed out mid so much. Oh yeah, right now. And oh, then right now. They all died. Yeah, I think yeah, that's one of the problems that you're having. One of the problems that we're having is that you're always like farming, 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 and your team is mid and they're fighting. Yeah. So when you're farming like this, what should you do? You should communicate. Guys, I'm bot lane. I cannot help you. I'm really strong, but I cannot help you. So ping them. Danger, 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 danger. Because if they die here, game is lost. Yeah. So as you're that doing this, I was lost. Exactly. Exactly. Because if you're doing this, question yourself. Hey, is it really, 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 really necessary to get this wave because the wave is going to get the end? Or do I need to go mid because they are going to fight? In this case, it's not that necessary to get this way because those two minions, super minions, they are not going to end the game right now. Yeah. So you focused, and not only right now, you focused a little bit too much on pushing the lanes. So definitely that was the part of the reason that in the later stages we lost. And then here it was a desperation play. I like what I tried, you're probably going to get two. Okay. Imagine if you had good itemization here. Oh yeah, imagine I didn't have bone mail. <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. Because it will be at least one more kill, but I actually think that you can kill Zerat as well. Because he's not that strong in like 1v1 face to face fights. Yeah, so this is, yeah. this is basically the story of this game. We are, so you yeah. improved, you improved, but you still need to work on some things. Of course, on Xin Zhao, in my opinion, your Xin Zhao is a little bit worse than, than your Olaf, for sure. So, yeah. More comfortable on Olaf. Yes, 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 yes. If you want to improve on on the Xin Zhao, you would need at least 20 more games. Play 20 more games on Xin Zhao. I'm going to also give you a homework. Which yep. at least... Okay, so how much time did you say you can put into the game? Okay, we don't Two have to... Two to three hours. Two to three hours? Did I have the... Yep. Oh, I don't have the vocal session here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Didn't copy-paste it. Uh, watch at least two videos from homework and then you need to work on specifically on uh, this is not important communication okay itemization you're going to get better instantly so you don't need to actively think about it mechanics you're going to work unconsciously on those things so yeah you can you can work on team fighting better don't fight into number disadvantage and don't be greedy to take that fight. Watch the minimap every time when you're approaching the fight. If you're going to improve on this, you're going to improve so hard on Zin and on Olaf. Because, you know, those champs are fighting champs. If you know how to pick up your fights, you should be Gucci. Yeah. So those things. Work on and then future pillars is going to be... 100% is going to be tracking. And it's going to be... Lane matchups. And... Pathing. Because you still have a problem with the pathing. So right now, your pathing is basically, let's say, 8 out of 10. It's getting better. It's getting better. So right now, it's around 8.5. But I want to get it at least at 9. 9, 10. Because sometimes, you're ganking, like, you're pathing bot lane. You're, you're losing a little bit of focus. And then some other times, like most of the cases, you have a good pathing. And I like it. So try to play the games right here. If possible, try to actually play only, uh, only Olaf and Xin Zhao. You can try Viego as well. Maybe next time we do some Viego, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, because I really want to play the champion, but like I'm playing so bad on it. Like, <laughs> okay, then then we can play some Viego. We can play some Viego. But try to play the games like try to play three games on Olaf, three games on Zin, three games on Olaf, three games on Zin. Like the games in a row. Yeah, that's going to help you a lot. Yeah, but you're definitely on the right path, and you you improved. So I really like this. You still need to work on some things, but overall, it's uh, really 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 good. I really like how you're playing. Okay, so...